Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and start off with, like, the bigger slimes. This one here, hopefully it's, you know, somewhat in focus. This one I made on Musical.ly for a tutorial. Um, it's basically just like a really soft slime with a lot of lotion, so it's pretty fun. You see, that's how soft it is, so we're just going to pop that in. Next, I have this Unicorn Shimmer, which is a Silly Putty Slime. As you can see, everything kind of settles to the bottom, but it's very glittery, and it is a transparent slime. I got it from Monstrous Things on Etsy. If I can open it. This one gets really, really sticky. I don't know, like, if it's just the glue that was used to make it or what, but I'm just going to go ahead and basically throw all of this in there and let it not stick to me. Now I have this basic green bubblegum slime that I'm going to go ahead and add into this as well. That one I just made for fun. Then I also have the rubber band crunchy slime that I made which smells horrible for some reason. It's just disgusting. I have this blue kind of, I guess like cream cheese kind of slime. This one, it is a cream cheese kind of slime, but I'm kind of like debating on the color. Is it like blue or greenish? I, you know, I don't know. Then we have the Jolly Rancher slime that I made. It's a Jolly Rancher Jiggly slime. You can see it is jiggly. This one I love. I can't believe I'm sacrificing it, but it must go. It all must go. Then we have another one of my favorites, which is the kind of like mauve colored butter slime. I really, really love this one. It's like my favorite slime that I've ever made. Well, one of them. And another butter slime that I have here is left over from my slime shop. It is um, just a yellow butter slime, which I call Rapunzel. So that one is going in as well. All my containers just fell. I also have some slime in this mason jar. This one here is just a regular orange kind of bubblegum slime that was used for the um, Dorito, the liquid Dorito. So that's going in. And of course we can't forget about the popcorn slime. That is most definitely going in as well. Gotta love that. Kind of looks like scrambled eggs. Now we have smaller slimes. So now I have this little one here, which is basically like an avalanche kind of slime. However, it is a avalanche slime with blue bubblegum slime and a glitter crunch slime at the bottom. So that is most depth going in. And this one here in this little mason jar, I honestly don't even know what this is. I think it's a butter slime. So let's see. I've, it's been a while since I've, you know, even looked at this. So I don't know. Yep, that's a butter slime. Then also left over from my slime shop, I have the Highway Unicorn Jiggly Slime. This one is orange scented and I freaking love this slime so much. Then I have this neon blue kind of slime color here. This is basically just a regular bubblegum slime. However, I use this for a video on my Instagram slime account. So yeah. This one is also a leftover from my slime Instagram account. This one is for the unicorn frappuccino, so I'm going to throw that one in there as well. This one's just a regular bubblegum slime mixed with a fluffy slime. Now this little one here, this is the key lime pie that I made blindfolded recently. This one is just leftover and it's going to go in there as well. And this is a butter slime. That's sticking to the top. I also have this unicorn poop butter slime, which is basically just leftovers from my unicorn toast butter slime. So that's going in. Then I have this slime here that is kind of like a coral color. This one is actually a clay slime that is made with actual clay, like not model magic clay, like real clay that you bake in the oven. This one is so cool. Let me know if y'all want a tutorial on this one because it's actually a really cool texture.
And the final slime is going to be the Glitter Crunch slime that I have here. I did sell the Glitter Crunch slime on my shop. I only had one available, but I did have some extra that was spilling out, so I saved that for this video in particular. So we're going to add this in as well. So this right here is a total of 23 different slimes. It's so freaking crazy and I'm kind of sad that I'm doing this but I'm going on vacation so it just has to be done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mix all this together and it's probably going to get a little messy but hopefully we get some kind of cool texture and some great color out of it so we'll see. That was mostly butter slime there. Look at the purple coming through. Take it out of the bowl now. Let's see. Oh, it looks disgusting. It looks so gross. It even feels gross, honestly, like with the chunks of styrofoam from the popcorn slime. It just is disgusting. But it smells really good. It smells like a soap with all the different scents because most of my slimes are actually scented. It's interesting. The texture is really cool until you hit the chunks and then you look at the color because you think you're like playing with poop. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to do a swirl. <laughs> There's a lot of slime though. I did it. Whether it's small. 
There's a fire burning my heart.